Hi I am Dr. Sood here Singh. I am going to demonstrate intratunnel phaco fracture nucleus management technique of manual small incision cataract surgery in white cataract. A fornix based conjunctival incision is made in superior temporal quadrant. A light cautery is applied. A partial thickness groove of 5 mm length is made. A paracentesis incision is made, and BSS is injected into the anterior chamber to make eye tight. Sclerocorneal tunnel is made with crescent knife. Entry into the anterior chamber is made with 3.2 mm keratodum. Air is injected into the anterior chamber. Trip and blue dye is injected under the air bubble to stain lens capsule. HPMC visco l injected into the anterior chamber and dye and air pushed out. Capsa hexis is made with 26 squiz needle capsa tum. Internal opening of the corneoscleral tunnel is enlarged to 6.5 mm with a 5.1 mm and 2.8 mm keratodum. Hydrodissection is done in all quadrants. The nucleus is rotated within the capsule and prolapsed into anterior chamber by a Sinsky hook. Enough viscoelastic is placed between cornea and superior surface of the nucleus to protect endothelium, and between nucleus and iris to keep away iris from nucleus. Small Lewis lens loop is introduced through the tunnel and positioned between the iris and the nucleus. The nucleus is engaged in the lens loop and slowly withdrawn from the anterior chamber, while the posterior lip of the tunnel is remaining depressed. Nucleus is engaged in the tunnel, then the Lewis lens loop is pulled posteriorly and upwards. This causes breaking and removal of a part of the nucleus and other part remain engaged in the tunnel. By viscoelastic the engaged part of the nucleus is pushed back into anterior chamber and rotated so its longitudinal axis was coincided with longitudinal axis of the tunnel. Again viscoelastic is placed between the cornea and superior surface of the remaining nucleus and between the nucleus and iris. The lens loop is introduced through the tunnel and positioned between the iris and the remaining part of the nucleus. The remaining part of the nucleus is engaged in the lens loop. Lens loop is slowly withdrawn from the anterior chamber along with nucleus fragment while the posterior lip of the tunnel is remaining depressed. Cortical matter and viscoelastics are flushed out with irrigating fluid filled in 10 cc syringe mounted with hydroquinola. The remaining cortical matter is cleaned up as done with 23 Gauss Simco irrigation cannula from side port. Anterior chamber is formed with HPMC viscoelastics. A single piece PMMA intraocular lens of is implanted into the capsular bag. Vixoelastics is flushed out by 23 Gauss cannula mounted on 10 cc syringe filled with BSS from the main port. Remaining viscoelastics is then cleaned up with 23 Gauss Simco irrigation cannula. Side port and main port are sealed with hydration. Conjunctival flap is reposited back. Subconjunctival injection of the gentamicin and dexamethasone given. Cut ends of the conjunctiva is sealed with cautery. Thanks for watching this video.